Welcome, it's time for Art Display, and today I have a brother from another mother in the Niger Delta. <laughs> His name is Uriwe Godwin. He studied fine and applied arts in Lasso Tech, which is now Lasso Tech Ikorodu Lagos. You are welcome. Good to have you here, sir. Thank you so much. So it's not very often we have sculptures in for Thursday Art Display, but today I'm very, very interested to see that we have one, and that's uh, not just any other one, but you're one from Niger Delta, and that's, that's grand. First off, Thank you, you want to tell them where you're from exactly? I'm from Isoko North. Isoko North. What, 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 what village is that? Maybe, let me see if I can. Better. Yeah, where? Better. Better. I, I was in Better. Two, I was there two weeks ago. Wow. Better, Aviara, Oyede. Exactly. Exactly. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I travel a lot. I, lo I love doing That's that. That's good. And while I do that, I also kind of like love to enjoy the people, the places, and their art as well. Yes. You'd be surprised the kind of people that you find inside of the villages and all mm -hmm. sculptures mm -hmm. artists, mm -hmm. poets even. Mm -hmm. uh, met this guy once in a place called um, uh, Orie. Orie. Deep in the village, he had an entire studio and everything ex on exhibition. It was beautiful. But you're here with us. So you're a sculptor. Um, academic? Do you do teach as well, or do you? No, no, no. Just studio practice. Just studio practice. Only studio practice. Okay, that's grand. We have a few of your work here, very interestingly, and I can see everyone can see that you are into carving. Yes, amazing. I've never met a carver before. Okay. And I want to know when you look at a piece of wood, mm. does it? Do you know what you want it to, to to be, or does it tell you what it wants to be? First, you must have a concept. Like you draw out, you have an imagination of what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you draw it out. Mm. And most time you model it out with clay. Mm. Then you now search for the wood of that particular size that will give you exactly what you want. Mm. You begin to envision what you want. First, you draw them out. Mm -hmm. It must size, it must fit in. Okay. After that, I was trained under a man that once he's looking at the wood, he's seen exactly the picture mm. of what he wants to do. Mm -hmm. But academically, they will tell you will you be taught how to put them proportionally into mm. the wood. Mm -hmm. Okay, so your expressions are humanoid. Let me put it so: mm. if it's not a mask, it seems to be the form of a woman, especially. I think the best artwork God ever put together was the shape of a woman. Shape of a woman. You agree to? Too much. Ah, <laughs> we have too much in common there. <laughs> but let's talk about the pieces that you brought with you. Let's talk about that tall one. What is it called? What is it supposed to be? That's just a simple abstract figure representing a female, mm -hmm. innocence as it is. Maiden. Maiden, yeah. Very beautiful. And then next to it, we have this one here. The other one is somebody, somebody with pure humility, nothing mm. to hide, nothing to keep away from you. Unlike what we have in the society today, you really find a, sorry to say, a female figure that doesn't have one particular thing she's nursing. Mm. Especially the way society have so battered us compared to those days mm. where you see them so innocent. Mm. I be believe even our mothers will say our daughters have no choice. Mm. They were just you see the suitor come and they just discuss. Mm. That is all. But now the female has their rights. The mm. woman has come to stay. They have, they know what they want. But this one is a replica of those days where there was pure no innocence. Innocence, no consent from the woman to just giving out like that. Wow. How can one piece of sculpture tell so much? Mm, when doing a work, you find you get the story of what because in arts, we try to replicate uh, society, um, the tradition. Mm -hmm. We keep history, keep records of what is past. Mm. So in this one, I find the story interesting because it's no longer available. Mm. Everybody has a choice. Before mm. you even say, this is what I wanted to do, they tell you, I no, already know what, what I, I want. want. Wow. So which yeah. is better from what it used to be to what it is now? I mean, that concept that you've just painted. Is mm. it okay that women have choices now or...? I'm very okay with it. Very okay with very it. Very okay with it. Those some choices are not too good, but mm. I'm okay with it. At least they have a seat. individuality. That individuality. Fantastic. Yeah. And now our third piece here seems to be some sort of mask. It reminds mask. me of that movie, The Mask. Actually, I don't know if you mm. saw it from way back in the day. Mm -hmm. But tell us about that one. What's its theme? That's uh, a mask with facial expression. It could express 
you see hole, it has seen fire, it has seen a lot of things, and the other one is just quiet. Mm. Oh, so there are two, there there are two, two faces type, on two there. Two types of expression. Ah, there. now yes. I see it. Mm. Now I see it. Now I get it. The other one that has, the one that has hold through, has seen fire, has seen a lot, but okay. can contain So, them. would you say your artwork are from your culture? Are they from the Isoko culture? Or are they just mm. generally African? It depends on the concept I'm working on, but mm. purely African. Do you think that your uh, background also influences most of your it art? It does. It does, yes. Okay. yes. So when you sit down, you're thinking of your tradition, you're thinking of your culture, your people, yes. and all of that. You can only tell a story from where you are coming from. Aha. Uh -huh. mm. mm. Wow. That's very interesting. Now, um, you use specific kinds of wood. I can't just pick up any kind of wood, can I? What you, kind of wood do you use when you make your sculptures? I use mainly hardwood. 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 But what we have here is ebony, and um, the other one is upper. Oh, okay. Oh, they're but they're all family of hardwood. Hardwood. Okay. Wow, very interesting. And these are easily attainable here in yes, Lagos. Yes, so you yes. don't have the goods we should go to go and find. We, we, most of the good ones mm -hmm. come outside Lagos. Because outside of the deforestation, we don't have much of them here in Lagos. Okay. okay. Do we have like a, uh, an, a sculptor's village here somewhere in Lagos? I remember that there used to be one in Abuja where I used to stay. It was very beautiful to just go there and just you know, enjoy art all around you. Mm. In Lagos here, yeah, I don't think I found any. If there are, would you let me know, please? There are, no, there are no sculpture village. But we have a place where students come to learn, like the Universal Studio, mm. the National Gallery, okay. the theater there. Okay. You can see hub of activities with mm. artists all around. And this is how you make a living, yeah? This is how I make a living. What would sculptures like these cost if I was going to purchase? Sculptures are priceless anyway, but it depends on the, uh, for me, it's my emotional value, my value and two, depends on my emotion. Mm -hmm. If I see, a, if I see a, a buyer that is, I know it values what I have, yes. the price mm. go, but mainly not to discourage. Mm, okay. To see the joy in anybody, why not right. let the joy go? Are you looking happen. forward to having an exhibition anytime soon of all of your work? And what would you call it? What would be the theme that you'd drive at if you were to put together a big exhibition, a cultural one? What would that theme be? We're looking at some of your pieces on TV as well as yes. we speak, and they're all so very African, I must yes. say. Very beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, that one with the mother and child really gets yes. it. But, but what would the theme be if you're putting together an exhibition? I'll say falling pieces. Falling pieces. Why? From our culture, with what we see now in the society, we've lost touch of what mm. used to Before, there used to be um, the accountability. You know mm. you have a family to protect. You have a name to keep. Yeah. But now, mm. we've lost a lot of it. Wow. It's been wonderful having you on here. Thank you. Grand that you came through with all these beautiful pieces and also the ones that we've seen on television. And we're looking forward to that Falling Pieces exhibition. It will be grand to actually see. So please make it happen soon. Thank you so much. Do stick around.